The last few weeks I spent so much time searching for and testing so many different free plugins because I always want to give you things that are worth your time. So yeah, today I bring you 10 more free plugins that I'm sure you'll want to check out. Not only I checked different pages, but I also went to a database like KDR Forum and went up to the last page on the free plugin category. So if you appreciate that, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and also share it with anyone you want. Thank you so much. BCB Rack is the most complete modular synthesizer that's based on real life models. But we are not going to talk about that today. Because despite being free, you need to pay for it if you want to use it as a plugin. So instead of that, we are going to check out Cardinal, which is basically the same and with many of the same models. The great thing about it is that modular is not only for experimental things like blips, blops and noise, but it's actually very useful to create powerful synthesizers. So this also may be one of the best free synths out there. It has a lot of many different oscillators, filters, modulators and even some weird and experimental effects. Next up is a plugin that I use a lot every time I need to add body to snares and kicks or other type of drums. Manta is basically a resonator and the developer was inspired by one video from Dan Warhol. The trick is to have only one band and go to the fundamental tone of the drums you're processing. And this works great even for sounds that originally were too thin. Of course it has other uses thanks to the features that it offers. For instance, you can apply phase distortion to the bands and this can give you a really nice effect. Or you can build your own format filter and use the macro to move it around. And by the way, I have a video where I explain why resonant bands are really useful for sound design. Go and check it out right here. Taglicento is a multi effect step sequencer. You know I love those, like Infiltrator, Effectrix, FX Motions, and many more. So of course having a free alternative is great. You have five different step sequencers that will activate an effect. Not only that, it goes deeper because you can apply modulation per lane to different parameters of the effects. What's even crazier is that each line can have different number of steps, different speeds and different duration. So you can get polymetric results similar to the sequencer on pigments. By the way, I have to mention I have my own webpage, which is alexstraightstudio.com, where you can see all my work. Not only my videos, but also my music, preset packs and sample packs. Besides that, there's a form you can fill to contact me, especially for business inquiries or anything related. Next up is a synthesizer for nerds, like me. This is QSynthy, a synthesizer based on the Schrodinger's equation. I have no idea what that means, but this synthesizer comes with its own scientific paper. The thing is, thanks to this concept, this makes sound generation something very explorative and experimental. So you can get unique waveforms that many other synthesizers won't give you or are more difficult to program. Ever since I made the video about Venus Theory decent sampler instruments, I thought, well, it's time to give Venus Theory other instruments a try. 
and I gotta say that I really like Noctua. This is a cinematic instrument, as many of the things that Cameron does, and it offers a lot of parameters to change the sound, but before that, the sounds that you can choose from are great. They are deep, lush, whatever other adjectives are for these kind of sounds, so it's already fun to play with it even if you are just using the presets. But of course it's great that it lets you change the sound and even add effects, maybe the sequencer and so on. Next up is another synthesizer, one with a very unique concept. I know that face distortion synthesis is nothing new, but there are not many synthesizers based on that. In Ray and C, you can actually draw the shape of the face distortion, and you have three distortion stages. Not only that, it offers two layers, so you can go even beyond, and it has many modulators, the classic envelopes and LFOs, but the thing is that the LFOs are actually M6, so you can build weird shapes if you want. It has a very nice filter, and it even offers three slots for effects. One of them is pretty fun, the pattern delay. If you want a deep review of this synth, I have a video right here. The next plugin is not free, but you can steal it. I mean really, the developer says that you can steal it. Of course it's a fun way to say that this plugin is something like donationware. If you steal it, you still get a license for the full product, but you don't have support. Mish B is a tape degradation plugin, but with a lot of weird stuff. It has your typical things like quality, distortion, noise, and this thing, but besides that you can mess with the phase of the low, the mids, and the high frequencies. Now of course you get more parameters to destroy the sound in a nice way, like the decode, or the self-care lever. The last feature is the nice that you activate by going to maybe. This will introduce glitches to the sound and these four parameters are for length, for the reset probability, the center of the band and the bandwidth. Next up is a lot simpler, this is Codec, a decimator, bit crusher, degradation plugin. The reason why it's here is because of the sound, it's one of the best sounding digital degradation plugins out there. But despite being small, you can get a lot of many different results with it. Fracture by Glitch Machines is one of those old but gold kind of plugins. It's basically a buffer effect, which means it will freeze the sound. The thing is, with the size, the repeats and the ratio, you can get very extreme effects. If you follow AU5, you most likely know about the Spectra Compressor. My heart is under the floor. Sometimes I feel like under my bed. Of 
course, this is a compressor, but being spectral means that it works on the frequency spectrum by dividing it depending on the amount of bands that you select here. The great thing about spectral is that you can go for crazy numbers, like the maximum here is 32,000, which almost means that every frequency will be compressed separately. Besides that, this line represents the threshold, and you can change the shape of it in weird things like this curve. Can't stop tomorrow when we lose control. Can't stop tomorrow when we lose control. Now it doesn't stop there, it can work also like an expander. I can say my name in this place, I can say my name. Now be careful when you experiment with this because if you use this shape and invert it to expand a lot of the sound, you can get peak levels like this. Now there are many creative uses of this compressor, it deserves its own video and that's why AU5 has its own video. But for instance, you can get the frequency profile of a sound and apply it to other sound. of your heart and soul we are the rhythm of your heart and soul can't stop tomorrow when we lose control now other plugins that you may enjoy are in this other video so go and check it out thank you so much for watching i will see you next time and bye bye